we're going to get started in about five minutes. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. And maybe use this next five minutes to simply just wind down or gather any supplies we may need today. Maybe some water, light a candle, start up the diffuser if you choose. Whatever you feel you may need today. We want to find ourselves in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in a cow face. I invite you to sit in any seat that feels good for you at this present moment. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, hold the breath, exhale through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale fully through the mouth. Noticing how that breath makes us feel in this present moment. As we allow our shoulders to relax down away from our ears, our core muscles are nice and tight. Our spinal cord is nice and long, meaning our back is not sunken. We are sitting up nice and straight. As we bring our palms at heart center, gazing down towards the earth or closing our eyes, whatever feels good for you. Maybe we're allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum. As we breathe in, holding a breath, exhale. Maybe noticing how that exhale relaxes and soothes the mind and body with our eyes still gaze down. May we sit here in silent meditation before natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we use the breath and the down gaze to help us center ourselves and ground ourselves here today. Noticing how we feel in this present moment. Simply being aware without judgment. As we breathe our palms above our heads and our seated salute. Our fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling, feeling that stretch. Spinal cord gets nice and long. Shoulders reach up towards the ears. Body is nice and long. Feeling that stretch. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, see the twist right side. Softly gazing over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal bend. Allowing our bodies to completely relax in this pose. You may even feel your spinal cord crack in here. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, seated star. Our palms are off to the side, feeling that stretch. Spinal cord's nice and long. Breathe in. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side. Gazing over that shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Warming up our spinal cords here. Noticing how this feels. Three more breaths. Exhale back to center, coming to our seated star. Palms are off to the side as we breathe to our seated salute. Exhale, seated prayer, bringing our palms at heart center. As we allow our palms to flow to the earth on our sides, our palms are touching the earth as we feel the energies of our environment. Simply checking in, noticing what's going on around us. Simply being aware without judgment. Maybe we can only allow in the noise and the interactions that are soothing for us in this present moment. May we notice what is going on, only allowing in what is purposeful for us at this present moment. As we lean our bodies to the right, our left arm comes up 
over our head as we do a side bend. Left arm reaches over that head, feeling that spinal cord bend. Allowing our right shoulder to relax downward towards the earth. Completely feeling this side bend here. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, palms are on the earth as our bodies lean to the opposite side. Feeling that side bend left. Side right arm goes over that head, allowing our left shoulder to relax downward towards the earth. Going nice and deep here in our C-spine. Abdominals are nice and tight. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Palms are on the earth as we breathe our palms back up to our seated salute. Exhale, seated prayer. As we flow onto our hands and our knees, finding ourselves in our tabletop position, ensuring that our core, our tummies are nice and tight, shoulders or hip distance apart. As we drop down to our cow, our back is sulking, chin comes slightly up. Flow into our cat, chin comes towards our clavicle, spinal cord goes up in the air. And maybe do a couple of cat cow rotations to our natural breath. Noticing how this feels, we are warming up our spinal cord here. Two more breaths. As we find our pause and flow into our sunbird, right side, right legs in the air, nice and high, feeling this stretch here. If anyone cannot keep their balance, we can always lower our toes downward towards the earth. Whatever feels good for you, checking in with our bodies. Core is nice and tight. We are in our sunbird. As we straighten out that left arm, Noticing how this pose is balancing our bodies. We are building strength as we gaze forward. Core is nice and tight. We're gonna hang out here four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to table as we drop down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Going back to neutral as we sunbird left side, bringing our left leg in the air nice and high, feeling that stretch. And we can lower our left toes downward if that feels good for us, whatever you choose. As we extend that right arm, we are now in our full sunbird, gazing forward, noticing how our bodies are balancing here, ensuring our core is nice and tight. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to table as we flow to our cow. Exhale to our cat. Back to neutral as we sunbird opposite side again, coming on that right side, sunbird one more time. And maybe this time we can do a couple of pulses. We're gonna slightly lift our legs slightly up in the air if we choose, working our gluteus maximus here. You may feel this in your buns, what we are doing is working on our buns is still here. Three more breaths. As we find our pause, gazing forward, core is nice and tight, straightening out that left arm. We are now in our full sunbird. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch, holding it in two breaths, building strength. Exhale back to bird. Flowing back to knee to elbow, holding it in. Back to bird. One more time, knee to elbow, holding it in. Three breaths. Building balance here. Exhale back to sunbird. As we flow back to our table, and we're gonna drop down to the cow, noticing how this relaxes our body. As we flow to our cat. As we come back to table, and sunbird opposite side, bringing that left leg towards the back. <sighs> Holding the pose, abdominals nice and tight. As we do a couple of leg pulses, lifting that left leg up, 
we are now working on rounding our gluteus, our gluteus maximus on the opposite side. Two more breaths. Finding our pause as we straighten out that right arm. We are in our full sunbird here. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. One more, knee to elbow, holding it in. Back to bird. Dropping our bodies, coming back to neutral. As we flow to our cow, exhale to our cats and dropping down to a child's pose or a puppy pose, widening our legs, bringing our torso to between our thighs. Arms are extended in front of us if that feels good for you. Our heart chakra, our chest is touching the earth. With our eyes gazed down, may we use this moment to go a little bit more deeper into our present moment. Becoming a little bit more centered a little bit, a little bit more settled here. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. Two more breaths. If we are in our regular child's pose, may we extend our arms above our heads into an extended child's pose and walk our fingers to the front of the yoga mat in our child's pose or puppy pose, Fill in the stretch. And if you choose, maybe you can wrap your body from side to side in your child's pose, puppy pose. Noticing how this feels in the body. If we are rocking, we are preparing our bodies to open up our hips. We are warming up our hips for that hip opener. Two more breaths. Slightly gazing forward as we're walking our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling that stretch. Slightly gazing forward as we spinal wave our bodies, doing a couple of spinal waves, spinal rolls, using our hands to push our torso forward, using our hands to push our torso backwards. Tummies nice and tight, having fun in our spinal waves. Maybe we can Rotate our hips, noticing how that feels in our bodies. Moving our head around in circles, simply getting lost in the moment, having fun with the spinal wave. Four more breaths, playing around. Two more breaths. As we find pause, keeping our hands extended in front of us if we choose, feeling that stretch, coming onto our hands and our knees, and we're gonna flow into a thread the needle starting on the right side. We can bring that right arm up in the air if we choose before we thread that right arm through our left. Our heart chakra comes back downward towards the earth. Eyes are closed or gaze down. As we continue to check in with our minds and our bodies. And if anyone chooses, may you wrap your left arm around your back if that feels good for you. Or maybe you can extend that arm above your head, whatever you choose. Or maybe we can try both wrapping it around our backs or extending the hand above our heads flat on the earth. I see that someone's arm is up in the air. Arm is flat on the earth like we're in an extended child's pose. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Noticing how that feels. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, unthreading that needle, coming back to our table. As we drop down to our cow, exhale into our cat, back to our table as we thread the needle opposite side, bringing that left arm to the side if you choose before we thread it through our right, bringing our heart chakra downward towards the earth. 
eyes are closed or gaze down. Maybe we can wrap that right arm around our backs if that feels good for us. Or maybe you wanna extend that arm above your head like we're in a child's pose extension hand. Whatever feels good for you, we're gonna hang out here. A couple more breaths. Two more breaths. As we unwrap that arm and unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. As we cross our feet behind us, coming into a seated position, just for a second, because we're gonna continue to flow right on into that boat pose. We're gonna extend or bring both our legs out in front of us. We can extend them up in a boat if we choose, or we can slightly have them bent. We are in our boat pose. We are now working our abdominal muscles. We are also balancing our bodies. Noticing how this feels, our core is nice and tight as we gaze forward, building strength, building endurance in these poses here. Yes, I see someone straightening up their legs. Yes, filling that boat pose just a little bit more. Whatever feels good for you. Two more breaths. And before we come out of this boat pose, maybe we can cross our feet at our ankles tightening our core just a little bit more. What we are doing is we are working on tightening our abdominal muscles, building strength there, going as fast or as slow as we choose. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Body's getting nice and warm now. Keeping our legs up, we're gonna find our pause. We're gonna reach our hands down towards our feet, having our feet inside of our hands, noticing how this feels, <sighs> balancing our bodies as we extend our left foot out towards the side. We are in our boat pose variation. Maybe we notice how we feel this pose behind our hamstring of our left leg. Our core is still nice and tight and our bodies are still balancing here. If anyone needs to bend their knees slightly, feel free to do so. Whatever feels good for you and your body. If all feels well, maybe we can extend that opposite leg. Both legs are now extended out. We are in a boat pose variation. Some people call this bear pose, extended hand to toe, whatever you choose to call it. We are now feeling a stretch behind both of our hamstrings here. We are working our core as well as balancing our bodies. And we can, um, so we can spread our legs further apart, coming into a wide V, or we can even bring our legs closer together. Maybe play around with each of the variations to see how it feels in your body. We're gonna hang out here for four more breaths, having fun, playing around. We can bend our knees if that feels good for us. Three more breaths. Breathe in, exhale, bringing our feet down into a bound position. The bottoms of our feet start connecting. We're gonna come into a butterfly or a diamond pose. We are working on opening up our hips now, positioning our bodies to feel comfortable. <clears throat> Noticing how when we are in our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. When we are in our diamond pose, our feet are further away from our bodies. So maybe we can play around with both to see how each pose feels in our bodies. And then hanging out in whichever pose feels good for you. As we use our hands to slightly, just slightly push our legs slightly down, we are opening up our hips, just slight pressure, noticing how that feels. As we bring our hands towards our feet or our ankles, and now we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips. We are in a butterfly forward fold eyes are gazed down or slightly closed, noticing how this feels in our hips and in our body. Only going down as deep as your body comfortably allows you to go. Allowing our torso to completely relax down with here. Eyes closed or gazed down. 
soft, natural breaths. We may notice how our torso comes closer towards our feet with each breath. The more our minds relax, the more our bodies relax. We are able to go deeper into the poses. We're gonna hang out here for three more breaths. Two more breaths, relax in the body. As we use our hands to push our torsos up off the earth, noticing how this feels. Straightening our legs, using our hands to bring our legs together as we straighten our legs, coming into a staff pose. Our legs are parallel side by side. Our spinal cords are nice and long. As we breathe our palms above our head and our seated salute, fingertips, fingertips reach up towards the ceiling. Spinal cords nice and long, shoulder blades reach up towards the ears. We are feeling this seated stretch. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, seated prayer. As we hinge at our hips, coming into a seated forward fold, maybe we can reach down to the lower parts of our ankles or grab our feet if we're able and completely stretch our bodies. Noticing how we can feel this stretch nice and deep. We can feel it in our hamstrings. Our torso is connecting to our thighs. So this pose is regulating our heartbeat. It is soothing us. It is relaxing us. With our eyes gazed down or closed, we're gonna hang out here for four more breaths. Softly coming up, coming into a half forward fold. Chin is slightly up, noticing how this feels in our body. As we flow back to our staff pose, relaxing our bodies, taking our right foot, our right knee is in the air, right foot is flat on the earth. And maybe we can cross our right foot over our left leg, our feet still flat on the earth. Taking our right hand, placing it behind our backs. And now taking our left elbow and crossing it over our right knee, we are in our Lord of the fish pose as we gaze over that right shoulder. Building this spinal bend. Relaxing the body. Eyes are gazed down. Our spinal cord is relaxing and soothing here. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Uncrossing that foot, straightening out that leg as we hinge at our hips, reaching down to our ankles or our lower feet. Gazing our eyes down. We're gonna hang out here, three breaths. Exhale to half, forward fold. As we flow back to our staff, taking our left leg, left foot is flat on the earth, left knee is in the air as we cross this left foot over that right leg, taking our left hand, placing it behind our backs, fingertips facing away from us, taking our right elbow, crossing it over that left knee. We are now in our lower of the fish post opposite side. We're gonna gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. <sighs> Allowing the elbow to twist our bodies as much as we can. You may even feel your spinal cord crack in our Lord of the Fish poses. We're gonna hang out here for three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, uncrossing that leg, straightening that leg. We are back in our staff pose and we're gonna hang out here for two breaths, simply just checking in with our bodies. Noticing how we feel in our spinal cord. One more breath. As we go into a Sage Marici pose, we're gonna take that right foot again, placing that right foot flat on the earth, right knee is in the air. And 
the Sage Marici pose and the pose we just did, the, the Lord of the Fish poses are very similar. So the Sage Marici pose sometimes can be harder for some clients. So if we ever do the Sage Marici and a client can't get into that pose, we can always have them do the pose that we just did. But right now we're gonna try out the Sage Marici with our right foot flat on the earth, right knee is in the air. We're gonna take our right arm and lift it up in the air. Lean our body slightly towards the left. Lean forward. And we're gonna wrap this right arm around that leg. Now we are in our Sage Marici here, feeling this twist. And we can go deeper if we choose, taking this left hand and bringing it behind our backs and interlacing our fingers together. See that there? We are twisting our bodies. We are in our Sage Marici. Our chest can be slightly up or we can hinge slightly at our hips. Maybe trying out both to see how they feel and using or doing whichever one feels best for you. We're gonna hang out here three more breaths. We are taking our bodies to new levels here. As we slowly uninterlace our fingers, we're gonna unwrap that leg. We're gonna straighten out that right, that right leg and we're gonna hinge at our hips, reaching down to our ankles or our feet, feeling that stretch, gazing our eyes down or closing them. Heart chakra meets our thighs. As we relax and soothe here for three breaths, Exhale to half forward fold as we flow back to our staff pose. And we're gonna Sage Marici opposite side. Left leg goes up in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. We're gonna take that left arm, lift it up in the air. Lean our bodies towards the right. Slightly lean forward. We're gonna wrap this left arm around that leg, noticing how this feels. And if we wanna go into a full Sage Marici, we can actually take this right hand and bring it behind our backs and interlace our fingers, feeling that stretch. Chest is up or chest is slightly downward, whatever feels good for you. With our eyes closed, natural breaths, it allows us to become more comfortable in this position. Three more breaths. As we uninterlace our fingers, we're gonna unwrap that leg. We're gonna flow back into our staff pose. Reaching our palms above our head and our salute. Exhale into our prayer as we hinge at our hips. Half forward fold. Coming back to our staff pose as we cross our legs in our cow face. Maybe using our hands to connect it to our feet. Maybe we can apply a little bit of pressure to our feet, showing our feet just a little bit of love. But as we know, our feet carry us everywhere we need to go. So maybe we can maybe squeeze the balls of our foot or the center or the heels of our feet. Maybe we can even play with our toes, simply showing love and support to our feet with our eyes closed and natural breaths, allowing the gentle touches to soothe and relax. Spinal cord is nice and long. Tummy's nice and tight. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. Our face is completely relaxed. Maybe we can find pause and stop playing with our feet and simply just allow our hands to touch our feet as we continue to gaze down and relax in silent meditation for natural breaths. Two more breaths.
as we breathe our palms at heart center. Allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us. Position. We're just going to flow right on into our hands and our knees coming into our table. And we're going to do a couple of cat cows. Nice and easy. To our natural breath, simply just warming up our spinal cord one more time. As we push our bodies up to our down dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, noticing how that feels in our back. Maybe we can pedal our feet walking our dog, ensuring that our core muscles are nice and tight. Two more breaths, building strength as we slightly lean forward, coming into a high plank. Core, our core is nice and tight. Hanging out here just for a couple breaths, gazing forward, noticing how we feel. Exhaling back to down dog. Flowing back to our high plank. We're gonna hang out here for a couple more breaths. We are building strength in our arms. Abdominal muscles are nice and tight. Two more breaths. As we flip onto our side, coming into a side plank. And we can come into a low plank if that feels good for you. Coming on to our lower arm. Or we can slightly just bend our knee, whatever feels good. We are in our side plank, warms up in the air. And for those who want to go deeper, we'll give it a try. Maybe we can come into a stretch by stretching that arm over the head. Hips come a little bit higher in the air. Yes, noticing how that feels. Tummy's nice and tight. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhaling out. Flowing back to our high plank as we come back to our down dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs. Pedaling our dog or pedaling our feet, walking our dog. As we find pause, we are building strength. We're going to keep on flowing. Coming back to that high plank, hanging out here, two breaths. As we flow to that side plank, opposite side, arms in the air, feeling this stretch. And if you want to go a little bit deeper in the stretch, we can stretch that arm over our head, feeling this side plank stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, flowing back to that high plank as we come to our down dog. Woo. Dropping onto our forearms, coming into our dolphin. So we are on our forearm, giving our arms a little break. Maybe we can walk our feet closer towards our bodies. Noticing how this feels. Hanging out here, we are building strength in our forearms. This stretch also prepares the mind and body for headstand. Hanging out here for as long as you can. If you must, may you flow on down to a puppy pose. Three more breaths. Mm -hmm. Gonna do a bonus, two more breaths. As we drop to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose, bringing our heart chakra towards the earth. Our arms are extended in front of us. We are in an extended child's pose or puppy pose. Taking a nice deep breath, allowing that breath to regulate our heartbeat. Eyes are gazed down, centering us here today. We're gonna hang out here in this pose. Three more breaths. With our arms extended in front of us, we're gonna walk our fingers to the front of the, the yoga mat, feeling that stretch. And maybe we can rotate our hips from side to side, opening up our hips a little more. As we find still, we find our pause, continuing to walk our fingers to the front of the yoga mat with our eyes still closed, feeling a stretch. Two more breaths. As we do a couple of spinal waves, spinal rolls, using our hands to push our torso up and you can feel that in your spinal cord and twist your body back. 
We are relaxing and soothing. We are warming up our spinal cord. Three more breaths, having fun. Going as fast or as slow as you choose. Maybe we can even do a couple of circular rotations with our hips. Maybe we can roll our head in circles. Simply having fun and feeling one in this pose. Relax in the mind. Relax in the body. Two more breaths. <sighs> As we find our paws coming back into our table, and we're gonna drop down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. As we push our bodies up to that down dog. And we're gonna flow into a three-legged dog right side. Right legs in the air nice and high as we're gazing back at that foot. Maybe we can bend that right foot towards that left buttocks, opening up that hip just a little. And for those who choose, may you flow into wild things. Feeling that stretch if you choose. <sighs> Three more breaths. Exhaling out, coming back to that down dog. Gazing back at our feet, pedaling our feet, walking that dog. We're going to find our paws and come to a three-legged dog opposite side, bringing that left leg up. As we bend our left foot towards our right buttocks, opening up that hip. And for those who choose, we can flow into that wild thing, feeling that stretch. <sighs> nice deep back bend here. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, coming to that down dog. <sighs> Gazing back at our feet, cuddling our feet. And we're going to keep on flowing, coming into that high plank, building strength in our arms. We are on our tippy toes if we choose, and maybe we can slowly rock our body from side to side. We are working our obliques here, noticing how this feels in our body. Now, we can stay still if we choose. We don't have to rock. Three more breaths. Core is nice and tight. We are building strength, building endurance. Two more breaths. Bonus here. Okay, finding pause, coming to up dog. Thighs are off the earth in our up dog. <sighs> Chin slightly up, feeling that nice deep stretch. Exhale back down dog. Arms are getting nice and strong here. Flowing back to up dog. Thighs are off the earth. Two more breaths. As we flow down to our cobra, now our thighs are on the earth. We could be in our cobra or our baby cobra, whatever feels good for you. This is a back bend. Noticing how this feels, baby cobra or cobra. Two more breaths. Lowing down to that baby cobra, coming down to a Spanx pose. We are now on our forearms. Sally, a Spanx pose is a nice pose for you, maybe because it's a slight back bend. We are on our tummies, we are on our forearms, and it is a slight back bend. Noticing that our shoulders are not sunken down towards our ears. They're away from our ears, and you'll feel that slight back bend here. Gazing forward, breathe in deeply, exhale. Allowing this breath to relax and soothe. Two more breaths. <sighs> and for those who want to go deeper, we can go into a seal pose. So we may or may not be able to do the seal pose. We are taking our hands, that's in our space, it was flat on the earth, and we're simply going to push our bodies up. Kind of, we are literally like a seal on a rock. Kind of how a mermaid be when they push their bodies up on a rock. Yeah, so it's a little bit deeper back then, but not as deep. So notice the difference between a Spanx pose, not a deep back bend at all. Then a seal pose is slightly deeper. See that there? Hanging out here, two more breaths. <sighs> Relaxing back down the Spanx pose. And we're gonna bring our hands closer towards our chest and we're gonna come up to that cobra. Noticing the difference between a cobra 
and the seal post that we just did. See that there? So we got the seal post that looks very similar to the Spanx post. Spanx post looks very similar to the seal pose and they all look very similar to that cobra or baby cobra so just pointing out the similarities in each pose as we flow on back down to our spanx we're going to cross our hands in front of us coming into a sleep pose our hands are stacked on top of each other our forehead or our faces are relaxed on our hands with our eyes closed and we're going to take a moment to be mindful of the poses we just did, the Sphinx, the Seal, and the Cobra. Noticing the difference of the positions and how it feels in our bodies. We are simply being aware of each pose and how it feels within without judgment. Simply noticing. Three more breaths. With our eyes closed, our shoulders are melted forward into the mat. We're gonna do a bonus of four more breaths. As we slowly awaken out of that sleep pose, bringing our palms, we're gonna come up to that cobra or baby cobra, noticing how that feels. As we come up to that up dog, building a little bit more strength, holding the pose in the up dog, two breaths. Exhale, down dog. Gazing back at that feet, tummies nice and tight. As we flow into a three-legged dog, right legs in the air. Bringing that right foot to that right hand. We are in our runner's lunge. Hanging out here in our runner's lunge. As we flow up to our warrior one or high lunge, we are gonna do a little bit of working and building strength on the lower parts of our bodies. So we are here in our high lunge and our warrior one. Noticing how this feels in our body. Two more breaths. Exhale into warrior two. Noticing how this pose feels. Tummy's nice and tight. As we flow to reverse warrior. Two breaths. Exhale into side angle or extended side angle. Two more breaths. Fill in the flow. Flowing back to warrior one or high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Back to warrior one, or high lunge. As we hinge forward, framing our front foot, we are in our runner's lunge. As we flow into our pyramid, straightening out that front leg, allowing our torso to relax over that leg. Noticing how that soothes and relaxes the body. With our eyes gazed down, taking natural breaths. Noticing how we come closer to our thigh. Exhale into runner's lunge, bending that front leg. Exhale and back down dog. And we're gonna keep on flowing here, three-legged dog left side, bringing that left leg in the air. Left foot, left hand, we are in our runner's lunge. Hanging out here for a second. As we flow up to our high lunge or warrior one, build the strength in our legs on the opposite side. Three more breaths. Exhale, warrior two. Feeling the body flow in here. Exhale to reverse warrior. As we flow to side angle, or extended side angle, whatever feels good for you. Two more breaths.
Going back to warrior one, we're high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Breathing back to warrior one. Noticing how this feels in our legs. As we flow to our runner's lunge, bending that front leg, and we're gonna flow to our pyramid, straightening out that front leg. Noticing how the pyramid is a counter stretch. It is relaxing and soothing. That leg we just worked. Eyes gaze down, natural breaths. Mind is relaxed, two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, runner's lunge. As we flow back down dog. And we're gonna keep on flowing. We're gonna bring that right foot to that right hand. We are back in our runner's lunge. And we're gonna drop to our knee. We are now in our low lunge. So we went from our runner's lunge to our low lunge. Runner's lunge to low lunge. As we flow up to, well, we're still in a low lunge, but we're gonna bring our hands extended in the air. Noticing how this feels. Maybe interlacing our fingers together. Chest comes forward, arms go towards the back. This pose is preparing our bodies for split. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. <sighs> Feeling our bodies working here. Two more breaths. Exhaling forward, framing out that front leg. We are back in our runner's lunge, coming off that knee. Walking our feet to the edge of the yoga mat, bringing that right arm inside of that right leg, dropping on down to that knee as we flow into our lizard. This pose also prepares our mind and body for split. Our torso comes down towards the earth. If anybody has any issues going down too deep, we can always bring that yoga block in front of us and relax our arms on the yoga mat. And we won't be down as deep. Whatever feels good for you, this is just an option to do. Two more breaths. We're gonna do a bonus here, two more breaths. I know, me and my bonuses, I see you laughing, Sally. <laughs> okay, we're gonna drop to that knee, pushing our bodies up. We are back in our runner's lunge, coming off that knee, coming to that pyramid, straightening out that front leg. <sighs> Exhale, down dog. Pedaling our feet, noticing how when we pedal our feet, it relaxes and soothes our hips from that split pose we just did. Three more breaths. As we find pause, bringing that left foot to that left hand, we are in our runner's lunge, opposite side, dropping to that knee, coming into our low lunge. And if we choose, we're gonna extend our arms up above our heads, interlacing our fingers together. Chest comes forward as our arms flow to the back, feeling this low lunge stretch here. This pose prepares our mind and body for split, opposite side. Couple more breaths here. Feeling the strength, feeling the stretch. <sighs> Framing that front leg, coming into that runner's lunge. <sighs> Relaxing the body, dropping that, that leg, shall I say. We're gonna walk our left foot to the edge of the yoga mat, and we're gonna bring this left arm inside of that leg, and we're gonna come into a lizard pose opposite side. Keeping in mind, we can always use that block in front of us. If that feels good, we can just come on down to our forearms. We can even keep our bodies pushed up, whatever feels good for you and your lizard. And over time, we'll come down to our forearms. We're gonna hang out here, four breaths. Yes, I like the way you're modifying there, Sally. You're up higher, that's, that's perfect, yes. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we push our bodies up, hanging out here, coming into that runner's lunge. As we straighten that leg, coming into our pyramid. Exhale, down dog. We're gonna keep on flowing because time is running, running out. We're gonna come three-legged dog, right side, bringing that right arm in the air. I'm sorry, right leg in the air. Gazing back at that foot, 
feeling that stretch as we come into a pigeon right side bringing that right leg forward all the way in front crossing that right leg in front of us straightening out that back leg this also prepares our bodies for split <sighs> using our hands to push our torso away from our legs just for a second eyes closed natural breaths relaxing the body noticing how this feels here in our pigeon as we softly gaze over that left shoulder i'm sorry the right shoulder right shoulder feeling that spinal twist a slight spinal twist gazing back to center now gazing over that left shoulder maybe taking our left hand and placing it on our left leg noticing how this feels exhaling back to center as we allow our heart chakra to come down we're going to flow into that sleeping pigeon allowing our torso to relax to our thigh our heart is connected to the earth to our thigh the connection is regulating our heartbeat it is soothing our mind and our body we're going to hang out here in this pigeon three more breaths As we slowly awaken that pigeon, sleeping pigeon is awakening, using our hands to push our bodies out. As we untuck that back toe, we're gonna flow back into that down dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. As we flow, three-legged dog, opposite side, left legs nice and high. Gazing back at that foot. Left foot comes forward, pigeon pose, opposite side. Feeling that stretch, right leg goes towards the back, using our hands to push our torso up. As we softly gaze over that right shoulder, maybe bringing our right hand onto that right leg, feeling that stretch. Feeling that spinal twist, shall I say. Two more breaths. Exhaling back forward as we gaze over that opposite shoulder. Feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back forward as we allow our heart chakra to come downward, flowing into our sleeping pigeon. Eyes gaze down and closed. Mind and body is relaxed. Three more breaths. As we slowly awaken that sleeping pigeon, using our hands to push our torsos up, we're going to untuck that back foot and we're going to flow to our down dog. Pushing our torsos towards our thighs, feeling that stretch as we gaze back at our feet and maybe walk our dog if that feels good for you. We're not going to have any time to go into any sun salutations today. We're going to flow to an up dog. Thighs are off the earth here and now we're up dog. Exhaling down to our cobra. We are now relaxing on our thighs or our baby cobra. Flowing down to our sphinx pose. We're gonna hang out here just for two breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Maybe you notice how that deep breath relax and soothe the mind and body. Two more breaths. As we slowly roll onto our backs, we're gonna come into a Shavasana just for a second. We're not staying here yet. In our Shavasana, we're going to bring our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. <sighs> nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> hugging our knees into our chest nice and deep. 
with our eyes gaze down, allowing our shoulders to melt backwards into the yoga mat. Our spinal cord is nice and flat with the mat as we hug our legs into our chest. Three more breaths. <sighs> Lifting our legs up in the air, we are, on a, we are in the legs on the wall poles, noticing how this feels. The earth is soothing our spinal cord, our core, our tummies are nice and tight. Our backs are relaxed into the yoga mat. Two more breaths. As we reach down to the lower parts of our legs, the backs of our legs, bringing our legs in towards our torso, noticing how this feels, a little body stretch here. Going as deep as your body allows you to comfortably go. Two more breaths. Exhaling our legs back up to legs on the wall, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging them in as we allow our knees to twist towards the left, recline spinal twist. If we can, um, maybe Sally, just keep your knees to your chest. We are in our recline spinal twist. Just hug them into your chest, Sally, just hug them in. The rest of us, we are in our recline spinal twist, left side with our right arm off towards the side as we gaze over that right elbow, I mean shoulder. We're gazing up towards the heavens. <sighs> Two more breaths. Sally, you could do a couple of knee taps, you know, Sally, bringing one knee in and then the other leg. You wanna play around with that, Sally? Yes, yes, nice and slow. For the rest of us, we're gonna to come to center, hugging our knees into our chest, hugging them in. As we spinal twist, knees fall towards the right, opposite side. Left arm goes off to the side as we gaze over that left, arm or gaze up at the heavens, feeling that spinal twist, eyes are closed or gaze down, our bodies are melted back into the yoga mat, three more breaths, Sally, you can hug both your knees into your chest, Sally, hug both knees into the chest, feeling that hug nice and deep, Relaxing your body, eyes are closed, shoulder blades melting back into the yoga mat. We're gonna hang out here. Three more breaths. Flowing back to center, everybody bringing their knees into their chest, hugging them in, feeling that stretch. <sighs> nice deep breath as we flow to our happy baby. Everyone, Sally too, happy baby. Knees are towards the um, chest. Feet up in the air. We're gonna bring our hands inward towards our legs and connect it to our feet. We are in a happy baby. Noticing how this feels. Bringing our torso towards our body if we choose. Going nice and deep. Oh, our spinal cord is melted back into the yoga mat. Our eyes are closed. Our shoulder blades are relaxed. And maybe we can rock our bodies from side to side, using the floor to relax and soothe our spinal cord. Noticing how this feels. And if this doesn't feel good, or if you choose, we can stay center. We don't have to move. We can simply get lost in our happy baby. And if anyone wanna go deeper into the happy baby, we can actually go into an ear press, a shoulder press, by lifting that leg over that shoulder. And then the other leg over that shoulder, noticing how this feels. It actually prepares our body for pretzel because once we get done this shoulder press, the next pose after this will be that pretzel pose. I'm not doing pretzel yet. <laughs> so we're gonna hang out and play around in our happy baby, doing any variation that feels good for us. Seven natural breaths, rocking or staying still, going into ear press. Whatever you choose. Five more breaths. Mm -hmm. 
three more breaths. Two more breaths, body's relaxed, mind is relaxed. As we extend our legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose, invisible wall, feeling that stretch, reaching down towards the lower parts of our legs, bringing our legs towards our torso, feeling that stretch. Exhaling our legs back up, legs on the wall pose, hugging our knees in, Knees to chest hug. Showing our bodies a little love. Two more breaths. As we extend our legs downwards, we are in our Shavasana. As we extend our arms over our head, interlacing our hands, we are in that full body stretch. Our feet are pointed in the opposite direction. Our hands are pointed in the opposite direction. We're going to use the back parts of our Shoulder blades to lift our spinal cord off the earth. Noticing how that feels, feeling that full body stretch. Our spinal cord is not connected to the earth. The blades of our backs are. It allows us to feel this full body stretch. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhaling our bodies down, coming back to that Shavasana. Before we flow into that Shavasana, we're gonna try one more thing. Bringing our knees back into our chest, just for a second. Lifting both legs up in the air. Allowing that right leg to come down nice and flat on the earth. Noticing how this feels. We're gonna reach up, extended hand to toe or hand to lower parts of the leg and bring that leg towards your body. Feeling that stretch. Shoulder blades are melted back into the earth. Reaching that leg towards the body. Two more breaths, feeling the stretch. Exhaling both legs in the air. We're gonna switch sides. That opposite leg goes downward towards the earth. We have the other hand to toe, extended hand to toe or lower parts of our legs. Feeling that stretch. Body's relaxed here. Two more breaths. Both legs up in the air. As we come, knees to chest. <sighs> Hugging them in just for a second. As we extend our legs downward, we are in our Shavasana. Our legs are parallel side by side. Our feet, the sides of our feet are connecting. They are touching. As we allow our feet to fall to the side like a V, completely relaxing our legs with our eyes closed or gaze down. Our backs, our spinal cords, shoulder blades are melted back into the yoga mat. As we find our bodies completely relaxed here. May we hang out in silent meditation for seven natural breaths. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Keeping our eyes closed if we choose. May we roll onto our side, coming into a fetal position. <sighs> Noticing how this pose feels in the body. Our bodies are still completely relaxed here.
three more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes and maybe rotate our ankles and maybe some slight circular rotations in our hips using the movements to awaken our bodies. And we can keep our eyes closed if we choose as we find ourselves back into a seated position using our hand to push our bodies up I'm gonna come into a cow face. May you come to any pose that feels good for you. With our spinal cords nice and long, our core muscles are nice and tight. Our shoulders are relaxed down away from our ears. As we breathe our palms at heart center, Maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for you. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self, for self-care, for self-practice, or any activities that is positive, and it's gonna take our mind and bodies to new levels. May we thank ourselves. Showing ourselves a little time and care. And I'm grateful that you all allow me to practice self-care here with you today. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste.